In this video, I'll show you how to use the motion path effect in Camtasia 2023. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this is what the motion path effect should achieve once it's done. Something like that. You get the idea. It's kind of moving objects from one side to the other, depending on where you've placed the motion path effect. So if you wanted to match some few items, then you can do that. So uh, let's try and see if we can recreate it. Now, I'm not going to recreate the assets, uh, but here they are, just some squares here. I've added to the right where I need all the different elements. That is the triangle, uh, the hexagon, I believe, and the start to go. Now, to use the motion path effect, you need to go to visual effects. And then if you're up here, scroll down and you'll find the motion path here. We can add the fast motion path to the star. It's going to indicate where it goes to right there. So you can just set it to probably get there to the center. And you'll notice, let's zoom in slightly, that the motion path is only for this particular selection. So if we play this, the motion path only comes in at that particular point. So if you'd like to adjust that, you can move it back. You can take it forward and so on and so forth. Next up, you can bring this, but you can make the curve a little bit tighter. And then you can just right click to add a motion point if you'd like to kind of finesse that kind of uh, movement. So when we look at this, go something like that, goes down and then shoo, goes and locks in. Looks really, really good, that particular uh, motion path. Once you're done with this, you can click on finish editing and then we move to the next shape. Uh, where we'll go also choose another motion path effect and automatically it kind of gives you like an opposite of what uh, you selected. Let's say we want to go with this one to go somewhere here and then we can add another motion point here and have this one move something like that just being a little bit cheeky and then we can move this backwards and then this one to somewhere there. So if we play this that's what we get and then it moves up and it lands there, that looks good. Click on finish editing. And then we go to the third motion path, uh, add to the triangle as well. And then uh, you can decide maybe this one, uh, we can add a new point here, add motion path point, let it come somewhere here. You can also add another uh, motion point here, bring it down slightly, and then you can bring this one to where we want it to end somewhere there. So, uh, Let's just move back, then we move back and we can move the point slightly to be a little bit apart and then play this. That's what everything looks like. Actually, uh, we've noticed that we are actually going the same place so I can actually bring this to the center, delete motion point or something of that sort bring it somewhere here, just make it smooth, uh, make it a little bit smoother using this uh, particular points, depending on what you want. Let's play. And there we go. There we go. Looks good. Uh, just some fine tuning so that it ends up in kind of the center right about there. Looks good. Once you're done, finish editing. So if you play this, you get something like that. You can go crazy with this, do it to text, uh, objects, callouts, videos, you name it. You can add this kind of motion path effects to, uh, I believe, any media that you add, especially graphics, videos, text in Camtasia 2023 and beyond. Thank you so much for watching. And that is how you can use the motion path effect to spice up your videos. Thanks for watching. 